Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Let me show you how to use Chat GPT on a Chromebook. So what I want to do is show you how to use Chat GPT with your Chromebook. You may have noticed at the uh, last video on our shelf here, you saw the ja Chat GPT uh, icon. So let me show you how to set that up on your Chromebook. So you can just click the button and it'll take you right to Chat GPT. Now, you will have to have a Chat GPT account. So I'm assuming that you've set one up and have logged into your account. So let's look at this and see how we're going to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up our Chrome browser. And what we wanna do is get into our account all right, let's just follow the link that I've put on the screen and we'll put that into our um, URL and that should bring us right into our chat GPT account, which you'll see I have on the screen here. So this is uh, chat GPT uh, and you will be familiar with this if you have an account. So let's count. The accounts are free, by the way. So I would encourage you to set one up. So let's come over here. And we'll come up now to the top right hand corner and I want you to click these three little dots here and now we're going to come down to more tools and over here we're going to create a shortcut so let's click this and now you'll see um, we can call this we'll, we'll rename it in a second here but here is the icon and we're going to call this chat GPT And you can either have it open in a separate window if you click this or or you can have it open in your existing window and then we're simply going to create it and i'm going to click the create button here and that's going to create an icon for this and that of course is going to be found in your launcher so let's have a look at where we'll find it we're going to come down here now and we're going to come over here to the left and we'll open this and as we come down here we're going to see that, we, of course, we have Chat GPT, and here is the here is the icon that's going to launch us. So what we're going to do is we're going to pin this to our shelf because I use it all the time. So I want to pin it right to our shelf down here. So what we'll do is we'll just right click on it, and it says pin to shelf. And now we have a Chat GPT button pinned to the shelf of our Chromebook anytime we want to use it. We just click the button here and that'll take us right to chat gpt and we are ready to do a search ron brown with tech for senior you know we'd sure appreciate that like and subscribe till we see you again have a great day mm -hmm.